I had a, a friend who was kind of describing, you know, different drugs slash medicines and, you know, this, you know, are they kind of taking something from the future, right? Uh, that, you know, coffee, you know, caffeine is kind of taking this afternoon's energy ah. and giving it to you now. Yep, yep. <laughs> and so it's this balance of how much energy do you want to pull from your future to feel it in the morning? And, and you, you negotiate these things and that alcohol, and he had, it was the greatest description. He's like, what alcohol does is it takes a little bit of tomorrow's happiness and gives it to you in that first 30 <laughs> Borrowing minutes. Borrowing from tomorrow. That's good. And so you get this little serotonin blast in that first, you know, 30 minutes, even an hour of alcohol, um, even an hour, two hours. You know, it's like lasts for a little while. You get this high and you, you're, and then you hit tomorrow. And if you're not drinking every day and if, you, if you're fairly full of happiness, you can afford to tip a little off the top then let it refill over yeah, the next yeah. few days. And then you're full again and then you're good. And then maybe, you know, once a week, you know, have another drink and you take it down and it gets up. But if you do it every day, just the reserve goes down until oh, yeah. you hit zero. Yep. <laughs> and, and then there you are and you keep drinking, hoping to get that tomorrow's uh, happiness back. And, and it's not, you're, you're done, you're out. You don't have that reserve. And so um, like my girlfriend is really good about like, she likes her wine when she has her wine, but she's a teacher. She's a mother. She likes to be present. She has a deep yoga practice. Like she doesn't want anything to get in the way of those things. And if she, you know, and I've in the two, two plus years we've been together, anytime she's had like had alcohol twice in a row, she's like, shit. Yep. Yep. And it's only happened like twice and she totally feels the difference, but she does her wine on Friday and that's it. Yep, the, and I, the really enjoys it, but then fills up again. Yeah, the the morale meter, you know, it's perhaps what what do you call the meter? Do you have a name for the meter? A morale meter works. Morale me. meter, yeah, because it also it's it's also sounds kind of like a I don't know, like a something akin to a platypus. I love the word morale. I <laughs> I use it daily, and I think that I wish I would have known about the morale meter in my twenties because. Yeah. Any time now where I know I'm way up here, I know I'm going to have to pay that later. You know, you have to pay the feel good tax. And that was just something kind of as a younger person, I never realized that, well, hey, I'm running out of juice. I'm running out of, what is it, dopamine or whatever. And I got to mm -hmm. I gotta take care of my, my physical health for the sake of my mental health or I'm going to go down the toilet bowl here. So that's something yeah. that um, it's just, it's great to be aware of the morale meter and know that it's like that yin and the yang in Chinese medicine. It's so true. It's like you're going to have to pay for the highs. And on the other side, the lows are temporary and they're not going to last forever. And, and I find comfort in that. And I believe like... And learning to just take the lows and, and sit with them, feel them and, and move through them and not like... You know, the problem is we spend so much energy running away from the lows and trying to avoid them and mask them and, yep. and hide them instead of just being with them. And when you develop those skills and I've come and gone with it, um, I mean, I mean, I'm in a state right now where I'm like, I, I'm needing to this year, I think I'm realizing how deeply it's depressed me. Yep. And I've been doing a lot of work to try to get my act together because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm afraid I'll lose my relationship. I'm afraid I'll lose things I really care about again if I don't. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of vital that, that I get that strength back and do the work now. And so, um, you know, the other thing I will say about the, the morale meter and, uh, being a touring musician, getting back to dirt from the road is that there are very few jobs in the world where not only are you encouraged to drink on the job, but you are given an endless supply <laughs> of free alcohol. <laughs> 